Good morning. My name is Zephyr Wildman. I wanted to share what we're working with this week. It's another slogan, and I feel it's an appropriate slogan, especially for this week. Keep it simple. Last week, we worked with the serenity prayer. We started to look at how we can empower ourselves and the things that we acknowledge that we can't change, the courage to change the things we can, and tapping into our discernment, our intuitive wisdom to be able to guide us as we regain our own serenity. And, you know, slogans are a really helpful way of kind of unpacking the complexity of our human experience and anchoring our attention into what matters to us most. So this week, keep it simple. It's a recovery slogan that points us to really taking one moment at a time, one day at a time, and that admission that this too shall pass, so be here now, really steeping yourself in, in that felt sense of joy, that sincere gratitude of the little things, and keep it very simple. In yoga, what we point towards is really um, breath awareness, simple, watching the, the body inhale and exhale. The next is sensation of that breath awareness, the sensation of it rising and falling, of stories that percolate up and then fall away, of thoughts that pass, the kind of um, screen of the landscape of our sky, and then, you know, blow off. So that simplicity of the body breathing, sensation of rising and falling, and the light of awareness, just waking up to the, the light of the, this moment, this moment, this moment of recognizing this moment. It's the so simple of just waking up moment by moment awareness. And then that experience of how to stabilize the mind. And the text says using mantra and mantra in Sanskrit, you know, so hum, we're going to be doing in practice. So hum, inhale, so exhale, hum. The meaning loosely means I am that. I am that witnessing consciousness that is effortlessly perceiving without doing, lessening the human being or the human doing, lessening the human doing and awakening into that human being. So we keep it simple, keep it simple because life right now feels very overwhelming. It feels very complex. And that perpetual downward spiral of fear, anger, blame, shame, uncertainty, and also that feeling like I'm failing at life because I'm not getting it right. And that hard thing of like this platform of compare and despair, everybody else seems like they know what they're doing and I don't. It feels like I'm, you know, not getting it right. And so keep it simple is a great way of kind of redirecting our attention into what we have um, control over, what we have power over, what we can empower ourselves to build the sense of strength, of resource, of stability, and be able to um, see in our life actually, you know, what really matters to us, what brings us joy, and making better choices. Because Alini, is an attachment theorist and said that it's not survival of the fittest, it's survival of the nurtured. And how can we care for ourselves? How we, can we nurture ourselves? How can we be our own friends? How can we attend to the areas where we don't feel safe? We don't feel loved. We're finding it very challenging that, you know, we feel very lonely in it. How can we actually come together and connect? Keep it simple one day at a time, this too shall pass. You know, the serenity prayer of, you know, Ishvara, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And then finding our way into kind of more Buddhist ways of thought. May my heart and mind awake, may I be free from inner and outer harm. You know, may I be safe, healthy, happy, and live with ease. You know, may I find peace in the midst of life's greatest challenges. These little slogans help direct our attention from this whirlwind of perpetual kind of fear, um, attachment, resistance, and then re-anchoring us into our center. What matters to us most? What do we care about? And keep it really simple today. Keep it simple. Keep returning back to the breath, the sensation of the inhale pattern, exhale pattern. In this moment, in this moment, I'm okay. I got this. Just for the next moment. 
please guide me. I am open and willing, please guide me. So these little slogans do help, and we're gonna work with it this week. I hope one of these slogans that I've shared, and there's so many more, help guide you in managing the unmanageable today and reconnecting you to really what matters to you most. I hope to see you in class, whether in studio or online. Thank you for listening.